Hi friends, this is my second topic on number theory. In previous two lectures, I discuss about how to find number of divisors of a given number. And in this lecture, I'm going to discuss how to find the sum of divisors of a given number. Let us start with an example and let's take a number 12. The prime factorization of 12 is 2 square into 3 and 2 has 3 divisors which I discussed in the previous lecture also and these are 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1 and 2 raised to the power 2. 3 raised to the power 1 has 2 divisors, 3 raised to the power 0 and 3 raised to the power 1. Now the sum of divisors of 12 will be 2 raised to the power 0 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 0 plus 2 raised to the power 0 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 plus 2 raised to the power 1 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 0 plus 2 raised to the power 1 times 3 raised to 1 and so on. This is how we will get sum of divisors of 12. Now we need to generalize a method to form a method so that we can directly find the sum of divisors of a number 12. Let's say 2 raised to the power 0 common from first two terms and 2 raised to the power 1 from next two and from last two we will take 2 square common and this is what we will get. And now you can observe from each term 3 raised to the power 0 plus 3 raised to the power 1 can be taken common and this is what we will get in the end. Here you can observe these two different terms form a geometric progression. 2 raised to the power 0 plus 2 raised to the power 1 plus 2 square is a geometric progression. Similarly, 3 raised to the power 0 plus 3 raised to the power 1 is a geometric progression. And we know the formula to find sum of n terms of GP is a times r raised to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 where a is a first term, r is a common ratio, and n stands for number of terms. If I apply this formula in both the brackets, in first bracket, the first term is 2 raised to the power 0, which is 1, common ratio is 2, and there are 3 terms. And this is what I will get. 2 cubed minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 times 3 square minus 1 upon 3 minus 1. And if we calculate, we will get 28. Now, if I look at the prime factorization of 12, and let us compare the result which we have obtained. This 2 cube has 1 power more than 2 square, which was the first prime factor. And similarly, if I add 1 in the power of 3, I will get 3 square and this is how we can correlate the sum of divisors with the prime factorization. Let's take one more example before we generalize it. This time we will take number 90. And let's see the prime factorization of 90. The, the prime factorization of 90 is 2 raised to the power 1 into 3 square into 5. 2 raised to the power 1 has 2 factors. 3 raised to the power 2 has 3 factors. And 5 raised to the power 1 has 2 factors. The first two divisors of 90 we will obtain from here. 2 raised to the power 0 times 3 raised to the power 0 times 5 raised to the power 0. Next one is 2 raised to the power 0, 3 raised to the power 0, 5 raised to the power 1. Similarly, these are next two divisors and next two. So, six divisors we will obtain from 2 raised to the power 0 and the sum of these divisors, if suppose I take 2 raised to the power 0 common from first six divisors, this is what I will get. And next six divisors I will obtain from 2 raised to the power 1 and this is how I will obtain all three divisors. Again, take 2 raised to the power 1 common from these six divisors and this is what I will obtain and the sum of all these terms will give us the sum of divisors of 90. Now, let's take 3 raised to the power 0 common from first two terms, 3 raised to the power 1 from next two and 3 raised to the power 2 common from last two terms in both the brackets. We will apply it in both the brackets and this is what I will get. You can observe in all these terms, 5 raised to the power 0 plus 5 raised to the power 1 is common. And after taking out common, we will get these two terms. Again, 
we can further take 5 raised to the power 0 plus 5 raised to the power 1 times 3 raised to the power 0 plus 3 raised to the power 1 plus 3 square common and we will be left with 2 raised to the power 0 plus 2 raised to the power 1 times 5 raised to the power 0 plus 5 raised to the power 1 times 3 raised to the power 0 plus 3 raised to the power 1 plus 3 square. Observe all three brackets in the end. All three terms form a geometric progression. Again, a geometric progression. Again, we can apply formula for sum of n terms of a GP. And we will get 2 square minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 from first bracket. From last bracket, we will get 3 cubed minus 1 upon 3 minus 1. And from second bracket, I will get 5 square minus 1 upon 5 minus 1. And calculating, I can find the sum of divisors of number 90. And again, if I compare it with the prime factorization, 2 square has been obtained by adding 1 in the power of the prime factor. Similarly, 3 cube is obtained by adding 1 in the power of 3 square. 5 square is obtained by adding 1 in the power of 5 raised to the power 1, which is again a prime factor. And this is what I will obtain. Now, we will generalize this formula for any arbitrary number n. Let us consider the prime factorization of this arbitrary number n be given by the formula p1 raised to power alpha 1 times p2 raised to power alpha 2 times up to pk raised to power alpha k. Now, the sum of divisors, if I generalize from the previous observations, I can say that this will be equal to p1 raised to power alpha 1 plus 1 minus 1 upon p1 minus 1 times p2 raised to power alpha 2 plus 1 minus 1 upon p2 minus 1 up to pk raised to power alpha k plus 1 minus 1 upon pk minus 1. So this is a general formula to find sum of divisors of an arbitrary number n with a given prime factorization. So this was all about today's topic. If you really like the video, click on like button below and subscribe to watch more videos. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, thank you and have a nice day.